Okay, so here I have Alexander, and just about a month ago, we decided to inject some laser-guided Wharton's Jelly Umbilical Cord Stem Cells, and we always do a one month, three months, six months, 12 months follow-up on our patients to assess the progress, all right? And we make adjustments along the way if they're not doing well. So after a month, overall, how has your knee been since we did the injection? It's been great. Okay. It's been really great. Mm -hmm. The first night, it was quite swollen and discomfort woke me up, but uh -huh. after about 24 hours, pain-free. Wow. Drove eight hours. After one, one day. day. Yeah, it was yeah. great. Uh -huh. and, You're um, not supposed to make that fast results. Remember I told you, give it yeah. a year. It took decades for the knee to wear out, especially all those injuries. Yeah. And you should make about 10% improvement a month. Yeah but you're like pain-free in a day. Well, it yeah. went um, it went pain-free mm -hmm. and a lot more mobility and s honestly strength in the, the leg. Okay. For about a week to 10 days, then some of the pain started resurfacing, uh -huh. but different than before. Yeah, more like it a was, growing pain. It was yeah. like a growing pain yeah. and it was when it experienced torsion. Yeah. Not just the regular old straightforward. And that kind of subside? It's just immediate and goes away. Okay. Yeah. Well, let me scan the knee. Let's see if there's sure. a difference in your inflammation. So again, we always use the infrared thermometer. It detects the temperature in knee. See if the inflammation is the same, worse, or better. Obviously, the higher the number, the more inflammation. We injected it medially. So today's he's about 87.1 degrees. So I marked that on his one month follow-up sheet. So we go left knee, 87.1, medially. Right. Now let's right knee. right knee, yeah. The other right knee, right? Mm -hmm. And then day one, he was at 88.1, so yeah, it's starting to drop, okay? First sign of healing is diff uh, decrease of pain and inflammation. So overall, what percent of improvement are you reporting here? After I would month? say, if it hadn't been for the sharp pains on mm -hmm. torsion, I would have said like 90%. Okay. So I'm saying there's still a little bit, uh -huh. but I am so pleased. So we could we could chalk it up at your 70% better. Oh, easily. Yeah. Uh -huh. Easily. Yeah. So basically, he's seven months ahead. Because usually we don't get the results till seven months later. But like I said, these cells are so powerful, designed for retired NFL athletes and even rugby players as well, all right? <laughs> and with the laser guidance, it's just, it stimulates the cells to repair faster. And you are doing your home laser every day. Most days I'm doing more okay. than one. All right, good. But when I can't get it in the morning on a work day, I definitely do it in yeah. the evening. So part of our program is we have a home light emitting diode. It speeds healing. It's FDA approved for uh, reduced inflammation, okay. stiffness and increase blood flow to arthritic joints. And the reason why we want to put it on his knee every day, because we want to get blood flow, it feeds the stem cells so they repair and regenerate for a longer term. And then you drink at least one bottle of alkaline water a day. I'm drinking so much, it's yeah, crazy. That's great. Just yeah. one bottle is fine. Yeah. Alkaline water makes the alkaline state a healthy environment for the cells to grow. When you have arthritic joints, are very acidic. All right, and that tends to wear the joint down. Um, stem cell diet, trying to follow the guidelines. Well, I started in with the prolon Great, deal that you gave me. You survived um, five days? Kinda, uh, sort of. So what we do is, uh, <laughs> there was a three and a half million dollar study at USC about the effects of a stem cell mimicking fast. Research has shown fasting stimulates your stem cells because what happens is when you don't eat, that's when your body really repairs. It gets rid of dead cells called autophagy. So your dead cells are eaten up, they're excreted, and it makes more room for live stem cells to fill. So stem cells that your body makes and the ones we inject in, so you, it works a lot better. I did about three days religiously. The uh -huh. fourth and fifth day fell off the wagon. All right. Kept up with the, um, the water and did tons of walking. I'm walking about an hour plus wow. a day. And you're fine. There's no pain. I've lost there. like 14 pounds. It's great. You know what? That's yeah. funny because people who do the prolon diet and the stem cells, within a month, they're losing like 17 pounds. It's crazy. Yeah. Because again, you're getting rid of the dead cells 
it's, it's giving your metabolism boost and you're walking where you're less pain. So this is the best weight loss program there is. I think it's fantastic. My wife loves it. And um, I also am doing intermittent fasting. So I'm yeah, basically- 16 hours. I'm skipping yeah. breakfast every day, not even until midday. Next yeah, we're day. not designed to eat three meals a day. That's the industrial revolution. Yeah. We're hunter gatherers that are meant to hunt our food. You've got, you gouge, you gorge, you don't eat for days. Mm -hmm. Actually, when you fast, yeah, that's when your body repairs and your stem cell mm -hmm. stimulation goes up high. Yeah. Um, now I think after a month, it's about time we're gonna we're gonna get some insoles for your feet. Yeah. So what you're gonna do is let me measure that again. You're just gonna you can keep your off. shoes on. No, you're gonna step on here. Put your heels in the round parts facing you. Can I put this down or you um, still need this out? No, just keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Uh -huh. I did buy some shoes with much better support. All right. And just for comparison reason, let's pull that let's pull that guy up. And I'm going to tell someone I need uh, two pairs of two pairs of white, two pairs of gray, real fast insoles. Right. Really should have put on them shorts. <laughs> Okay, now that's perfect. So as you can see, this measures the Q angle, which is the angle between the ASIS, the toe and the ankle, and man, it should be about 18 degrees, and one about 20 because they have wider hips. You can see his left knee is perfectly in the center kneecap. You see that, Alex? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that knee's perfect in the line. It's gonna be good biomechanics. You can see this, the bad knee, it's bow-legged. You can see how off the laser is right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a wedge and it's going to help push his bow leg back into alignment. All right, so this is unloader wedge and it has a five degree um, flare on the outside. So I'll show you how it works. So what I'll do is I'll just, cause you're gonna wear shoes anyways, right? We'll go like that. Go ahead and lean on the wall. I'm gonna stick this under that shoe right there. You see how that is in the center of gravity, all right? And what that's going to do is, because his knee is wearing out on the inside, because when you have a varus knee called a bow leg, it's going to load the inside of the knee and eventually it goes bone on bone. What this is doing is that wedge is opening up that knee. It's also going to help the stem cells fill that in. So biomechanically, we're fixing the bow leg or ver genu varus knee and we're making a, a gap, unloading it, so the stem cell could fill in you know, that space right there. And that's where the sharpshooting pain yep, is. Yep, that's where it is, because when you get the spurs, you know, they bite right there, mm -hmm. but now that you're gonna wear this, it's gonna help unload that, so you're not gonna have that jabbing pain anymore, right. okay? And then I'm gonna give you some exercise to help that lateral movement, so okay. you don't have that lateral pain, because that's gonna strain the, the meniscus and all the ACL right. out. MC and all that. So, and on the left foot, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a neutral one, mm -hmm. and that's going to balance out, balance out the height of that. So you have a short leg. Let's see how this fits right there. That's what about the last degrees of extension here? Because it gets close, but doesn't. You can see it's all. It's a little bit like not. Well, the reason why is until this fills in with cartilage, mm -hmm. you're always oh, going to be limited gotcha. in that extension. So yeah, so give that a year. But Sometimes. So here's how the program works. We decrease the pain inflammation because that's causing mm -hmm. the damage, right? And then we're going to regenerate the soft tissue, the cartilage meniscus, mm -hmm. create angiogenesis, which is more blood vessel formation. The meniscus doesn't have a good blood supply. That's mm -hmm. why the knee doesn't heal on its own. Gotcha. Stem cells create that angiogenesis and then we're gonna do strengthening, and then this is gonna help the alignment. Perfect. So I have everything, but I'm just ex thrilled at the results, because like I said, th th those stem cells, I call them sports stem cells, were designed for retired pro athletes, and you really are, because you wore your knee with all those years of rugby, yeah. and now we have the technology to repair that. So we can avoid all these uh, ACL, MCL, you know, PCL. yeah, they're really not, they're really not called repairs. They're really ectomies. They cut out the tears, the meniscus and all that. And that you're taking out the support structure of the knee. So it, it goes bone and bone faster. 
Now will be a way to, to rebuild the tissue and avoid those knee replacements. You're not the only one who's happy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Exactly. That's how we do it. We'll go ahead and send you out with the uh, with the insoles, and we'll have a follow-up in a couple months. Great. Congratulations. I'm glad Thank it worked. Thank you very much. That's good.